I hate to break it to you, but you've been doing your capsule wardrobe all wrong. I've seen so many videos here on YouTube on how to create the perfect capsule wardrobe, but every single one of them are missing four key elements that actually drive you to being able to create that wardrobe that is going to last you through the years and contain clothing that you actually wear. So if you wanna find out how to create the capsule wardrobe of your dreams with a new fresh spin, then keep on watching and make sure to watch until the end. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel and welcome for those of you who might be new. I'm Isabella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome here to Concept 3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to create the perfect capsule wardrobe for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So what type of lifestyle do you live? A lot of us, like myself, get a little bit delusional. We start to buy so many pieces of clothing that are not adaptable for our lifestyle. So this is the number one thing you want to look at before you start your capsule wardrobe. So therefore, anything that we buy for our capsule wardrobe has to fit into our lifestyle because if it doesn't, we will not end up wearing it and it will sit in the closet and it will become a waste. So the next detail that often gets overlooked is body type. And I think it's because a lot of creators here on YouTube when suggesting how to create a capsule wardrobe, don't keep in mind that everyone has a different body type. So that pencil skirt that they're recommending for you might not work for someone else. So whether you categorize yourself as an inverted triangle, a rectangle, hourglass, pear, or apple, you want to look first and foremost at your body shape and whether the garments present in the capsule wardrobe will be extra flattering on you. My next little secret detail for creating the perfect capsule wardrobe is knowing your color season and shopping within your color palette. So your color season is essentially a range of colors that are going to best flatter you. And you can either belong to the autumn, winter, spring, or summer color seasons, which each are divided into three subcategories, which is a bit complex. So if you're curious about your color season, you can go on my channel and watch the playlist um, on color, on seasonal color analysis. So keep your color season in mind and your best colors in mind whenever you are trying to build a capsule wardrobe. Don't just go for colors that people suggest to you based on what works for them. So the fourth aspect I definitely recommend looking at before creating our capsule wardrobe is your style personality. And this essentially refers to the unique and consistent way in which an individual expresses themselves through clothing, accessories, and overall appearance. You can either be creative, sporty and natural, alluring, classic, elegant, dramatic, high fashion, or romantic. So you can be one of these or a mixture of many of them. But knowing your style personality is very important because it will guide you to choosing the right pieces for your capsule wardrobe. So now that we've cleared up these four important factors before creating your capsule wardrobe, let's move on to the actual items, starting with tops. So in a capsule wardrobe, you wanna have a variety of tops that are going to be able to mix and match well with your bottoms. So for this section, I've included a short sleeve top, a cami or tank top, a button up top, and a statement top. And together, when you have all four of these tops, you have a very big range of possibilities in terms of outfits. Some especially flattering styles, if you're a pear, hourglass, or apple, will be an off the shoulder, a boat neck, and a scoop neck. On the other hand, if you're a rectangle, hourglass, or inverted triangle, a polo, a crew neck, and a v-neck will also look amazing on you. Next, moving on to camis and tank tops. If you are an hourglass, a pear, or an apple, you should try a square, a scoop, or a batu neck. If you're a rectangle, inverted triangle, and again an hourglass, halter tops, v-necks, and asymmetric necklines are going to be your best friend. So next, moving on to the corporate staple item, the button-up shirt. If you are a pair, hourglass, or rectangle, you should try shirts with statement collars or bold big prints. If you're a rectangle, inverted triangle, or apple, I would go for classic collars and proportional prints and solid colors. 
Now moving on to the most fun top of them all, we have the statement top. So if you're a pear, hourglass, or rectangle, you should try a flutter sleeve top or a corset top. If you are a rectangle, apple, or inverted triangle, a peplum top and an asymmetrical top will be great options for you as well. So next, moving on to bottoms, this is a very important category because you want to have enough options that are going to cover the wide range of activities and different events you have to attend in your life. So when I think of a capsule wardrobe, I think of having a casual skirt, a formal skirt, a piece of denim, and an elegant pant. So with these four options, you're going to have a lot of versatility in the, in the type of outfits that you can put together. And I think it's really great because these four are items that I see myself wearing a lot in my own capsule wardrobe. So when choosing your casual skirt, there are going to be a lot of great options. But if you are a pear, hourglass, or rectangle, I recommend trying a fitted skirt and a drape skirt. Doesn't have to be as short as this pink one, but something drapey. If you're a rectangle, apple, or inverted triangle, an A-line skirt and a pleated or ruffle skirt are going to look amazing on you. So when adding in a formal skirt, you want to prioritize these cuts. If you're a pear, an hourglass, or a rectangle, a pencil skirt and a midi bias skirt are going to be good options for you. If you are an apple, an hourglass, or an inverted triangle, a box pleated skirt and a mermaid skirt are going to be great additions to your capsule wardrobe. Now who doesn't love denim, but there's so much choice out there, so where do we even start? If you're a pair, an hourglass, or a rectangle, I recommend prioritizing tapered jeans and skinny jeans. On the other hand, if you're a rectangle, inverted triangle, and again, an hourglass, you should go for flare jeans and wide leg jeans. So with this staple item, you really elevate your wardrobe, but you need to choose the right cut for you. If you're a pair, hourglass, or rectangle, you can try straight leg pants or boot cut pants. On the other hand, if you're an apple, inverted triangle, and again an hourglass, flared pants and wide leg pants are going to look the most flattering on you. So the next category we'll look at is dresses, which is something I absolutely adore because they're feminine and girly and you can just throw them on and run out the door. So you will need two to three pieces of this item for your capsule wardrobe and I definitely recommend getting a neutral dress, getting a little black dress, and then getting a statement dress. And with these three dresses, you are able to cover a wide range of different types of events, whether it's the daytime or the nighttime. Now when choosing dresses, we need to think of what's going to be the most flattering for every occasion. For on a more day-to-day -day basis, if you're a pear, hourglass, or rectangle, you should definitely try a fitted dress and a wrap dress. If you're an apple, inverted triangle, and again an hourglass, a shirt dress and an apron dress are going to look especially spectacular on you. So when the party starts, of course, you want to make a statement or at least you want to be comfortable in the dress that you're wearing. So I recommend if you're a pear, hourglass, or rectangle, you try a slip dress or a one-shoulder dress. Super fun and bold, these two looks. If you are an apple, an inverted triangle, or an hourglass, I would go for a tent dress or a balloon dress. Now when searching for the little black dress, there are so many options, so which one do we choose? Well, if you're a pear, hourglass, or rectangle, I recommend a halter maxi dress and a bodycon dress. Love these two looks. On the other hand, if you're a rectangle, an inverted triangle, and again an hourglass, you should go for a pleated dress and a sheath dress. So this next category is not a big one for me because I actually live in Miami, Florida, so here it is hot all the time. The only time you really need a coat or a jacket is if you're going into a building with AC. So for this category, obviously it's going to depend on where you live and also the season of the year, but as a baseline for let's say a summer capsule wardrobe, the type of coats you'll need are number one, a cardigan, number two, a leather jacket, and number three, 
a jean jacket. All three of these are very diverse and give different vibes depending on your outfit. So with the cardigan, I'm not gonna give you any specific tips on your body type because this is a pretty universal standard fit, but I think they will definitely look good on most people. Just make sure that the length is proportionate to your torso and to the length of your arms. This is a really great option for every single body type. Just make sure that you style it properly. So here we have the leather jacket, which is another universal staple item that will look good on most body types. Here you just have to keep in mind that if you wanna add more volume to the top half, then make sure to have a lot of embellishments. And then if you want to detract from the top half, try to keep the design a little bit more simple with less embellishments. Now lastly, the jean jacket is a universal item that flatters many figures. This one here I've actually had since I was 19. It's almost nine years old, but hey, I'm not gonna age myself here. I'm looking for a jean jacket, just make sure that it corresponds well with your body type. And I love to save the best for last, and this is shoes. Guys, I have so many shoes, but if you're just starting to build a capsule wardrobe, you're only gonna need these four shoes in order to get away with your day-to-day -day looks. So shoe number one would be a white sneaker or a neutral sneaker. The second one will be a flat or a sandal. The third will be a business shoe, such as a pump. And then the fourth will be a strappy sandal heel or something a little bit more on the formal side. So this has been a very basic guide to creating the perfect capsule wardrobe. And with all the elements I included, I hope it was helpful. So if it was, please click that like button so that I know you liked it and so it can reach other people as well. And also, if you're not part of the channel, if you're not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos weekly, actually twice a week, on fashion, image, and transformation, and I would absolutely love to have you here with us. If you would like to book an image consultation with me to get your capsule wardrobe started, to get a seasonal color analysis, a body type analysis, whatever you need, I'm here, but please book soon because spots are filling up. You can um, book by emailing me at concept3 at outlook.com. I would absolutely love to work with you. So anyways, this being said, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, Stay smart and stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video. Bye.